Hello all dinosaurs, welcome to the basement dino dungeon and today we will be building a Lego Jurassic World Zoo but at the same time we will create and design new hybrids together so let's go all right so let's start creating the Lego Zoo okay right here we have the Jurassic World gate okay but it is missing a flame on the right hand side so if I actually took this this is actually from one of the figures let's just put this as a temporary replacement I mean it should do for now okay next up I want to create an enclosure for hybrids okay so first let's create a hybrid together all right let's find a head how about the head of a baryonyx let's form you know a hybrid ferocious hybrid possibly with this one right here how about this let's put this onto the Carnotaurus body and uh, we can give this hybrid a cool name how about Carno Carno Yonix or Barry Barry Taurus I'm not too sure you guys let me know okay so this is our first hybrid of the day so let's create an enclosure for the hybrids we have this beautiful gate right over here a beautiful fencing we can definitely um you know um brought more of these fences if we need them because i actually have another box on the floor this is the box so this is from schleich i purchased it from amazon so you can actually create really nice dinosaurs enclosure with all of this fences so let's do this all right so this little enclosure will be for our newly treated hybrid dinosaurs so, so our first addition is actually this berry taurus or you can call it carno yonix i think carno yonix sounds better all right i'm gonna put it right over here next up let's see what else we should form okay how about the indominus rex body and a triceratops wow that's 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 really really weird okay tricera dominus i think that sounds pretty cool or we can do it like a tyrannus tyrannoceratops tyrannoceratops so wow that sounds cool tyrannoceratops all right let's do this i'm gonna put it onto the green body because i think it will look cooler Tyrannoceratops. Wow, I, I think this looks really good. What do you guys think? It looks legit. It looks like a legit hybrid. Okay, so let's use this. Tyrannoceratops. Wow, I think this has got to be my most favorite hybrid right now. <laughs> Tyrannoceratops. Okay. Okay, next up, let's create an enclosure for raptors, okay? Okay, this time it will not be hybrids. It will be actual enclosure for the raptors. I think we have a couple of raptors for us to use. Um, let's put this like inside to make this enclosure a bit more beautiful and possibly like this tree as well. Okay, so let's see. Our first raptor that we will be placing in will be this blue raptor. All right, so let's put this into the enclosure and um, let's do a zoom in on it so the blue raptor is living happily inside the enclosure i'm gonna put blue in as well okay let's just put three first before we proceed you know before we return to design and create a hybrid another one i think this is um delta i think so all right let's go back to our hybrid creation let's create another one i think this is the t-rex body so how about we're gonna create something really weird shall we use the head of an ankylosaurus let's just put it right in wow it looks pretty cute at the same time so what should we name this part ankylosaurus part tyrannosaurus Tyrannochylodon and Kylo 
Ankylosaurus Rex. That sounds pretty cool as well. Ankylosaurus Rex. Okay, let's put the Ankylosaurus Rex into this hybrid containment together with the other hybrids. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will not get along very well with one another. So let's do a zoom in on and take a look at this hybrid that we have inside this containment. Yeah, it looks pretty cute. All right. Okay, how about we need to put, you know, like a um containment. Okay, not is it really a containment, an enclosure for herbivores. What herbivores do we have? We have a Stiggy Moloch right over here, which looks pretty, pretty cute. You can see the eyes, they're so huge and so lovely. So let's put this Stiggy Moloch into the herbivorous enclosure. Let's do a zoom in on it. So, yep, there we go, a Stiggy Moloch. Do we have more um, herbivores? Yes, we do have one, and this is a baby Triceratops. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put the baby Triceratops into the enclosure as well. Cool. All right, next up, shall we return and create another hybrid? We still have plenty of hybrids here to create. We have the head of a T-Rex. We have the head of a Carnotaurus. How about this? Let's choose a Raptor's body, okay, which is right over here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, take this out. Can, you can just leave it there for now. How about um, let's put a huge head onto this body. This is actually a Velociraptor's body, the body of blue. How about this? Let's put this onto the Indominus Rex body onto a Raptor's body. Oh my goodness, that looks kind of weird. It's gonna be too top heavy. It's gonna fall for sure, you see. It's too top heavy, so you need to do, do like some balancing, probably like this. So what should we name this? Part Indominus Rex, part Velociraptor. What should we name this? Indominus Raptor? I mean, you can call it Indoraptor, but this is not Indoraptor. Veloci Dominus. Velo... Velo Dominus. Not too sure. You guys let me know, okay? So where should we place this hybrid? Okay, I think let's put this into the um, hybrid containment. Let's expand um, the area. All right, I'm gonna put it right inside. I don't think it can stand. I'm just gonna do this. Let's try to balance it. Okay, there you go. Let's do a zoom in on it. So we have four really happy hybrids living inside this containment. The first one is actually a Barry Taurus, or you can call it Cano Yor Cano Yonix and this is the Ty Tyrannoceratops. Tyrannoceratops. I think that sounds pretty legit. The other one it's um Tyranno Tyrannocalodon. I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, alright, let's proceed to our Velociraptor containment. Let's put in more Velociraptors. We have one right here, okay? This is um, Charlie. So let's put Charlie into the Raptor's containment. So let's have a close look at this Raptor containment. It looks pretty cute. We have like a squad of Raptors right here. We have four Raptors, but of course we need to have more. We need to have more Raptors in this dinosaur zoo. Um, I think I have two more, okay? Let's put in, I, I think this is, his this is Echo, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna put the brown raptor in. This it's um this is Echo for sure. The previous one I'm just I'm just not too sure whether it is actually the new version of um Echo. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six raptors. We still have one more on the floor. So let's pick this up and um drop it right in to this. Containment, Raptor containment. So containment is basically an enclosure for really, really dangerous animals. So for the herbivores, you don't really have to call it a containment because they're not really aggressive. Okay, let's put one Ankylosaurus into the herbivorous section. All right, 
let's take a look at how many herbivores we have so far inside this enclosure. So we have a sticky Moloch, we have an Ankylosaurus, and we have a baby Triceratops. I think it is pretty lovely. All right, let's see what else we need to do, okay? Plenty of um, small figures. I think this actually belongs to the Dilophosaurus body. So maybe let's put, let's change it to this. I'm gonna use the Galley Mimers head. And just pop it right in. Oh, you can't do that. It's a different, um, yeah, it's a, it's a different one. So let's try the other way around. So there you go. So we have a pot galley mimers and pot velociraptor, and we can actually call this like galley, galley, galley raptor. Yeah, galley raptor. And this will go into the hybrid containment. <laughs> we definitely have really, really weird dinosaurs in this zoo right over here. This Lego dinosaur zoo. Okay, let's create another cool one. How about this? Indominus Rex with Carnotaurus head. And let's call this the Indotaurus. Carnodominus. Carnodominus sounds pretty good. I think we need to expand our hybrid enclosure. We need like, you know, a new enclosure right over here. So let me just get some fences. Okay, two pieces of this. You have to attach them together. All right, so how do we do this? You have to like, um, let's see. Do this, step, that, step that right in. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the table so that's easier. Okay, so we have a very nice fencing over here. So we definitely we can definitely store or contain more hybrids, okay? Next up, let's create another enclosure over here for other carnivorous dinosaurs, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two pieces of this as well. Let's put them on the table. Snap them right in. And I'll place this enclosure next to the raptors i think it looks pretty good so what can we place in this containment how about a dilophosaurus first all right i'll put it in dilophosaurus this is actually the very first dilophosaurus from you know lego jurassic world let's put in a baryonyx shall we i'm not too sure whether we can actually you know coexist with the dilophosaurus we'll just let's just put the baryonyx in together with the dilophosaurus and this baryonyx is actually the first baryonyx from jurassic world lego as well there's a second one the body right over here but the head is actually with uh the carnotaurus body right now <laughs> yes okay i think this is the main entrance we need to make the main entrance really beautiful so what i intend to do is that we can actually put like a really beautiful you know, skeleton or the fossils of a T-Rex right in the middle, you know, to welcome the visitors. So the moment um, they have arrived at this park, at this zoo, they'll be able to see like, you know, this really, really cool um, raptor skeleton or fossil, which they can definitely like take photos of it. Okay, but I think this, you know, this T-Rex, it has a tendency of like falling over. Okay, next up, we still have a couple of heads right over here. So let's, 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 let's create more hybrids. Okay, we have an Ankylosaurus body right over here and a T-Rex head. So let's put this right in. Ankylosaurus Rex, how about that? Or Ankylo or Tyranno, Tyrannolodon, I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? I think this looks, a, looks like a pretty cool figure. Okay, so let's place this into our second containment for um, 
of the hybrids. All right, and right over here we have two really cool silophysis. I think they are silophysis, but I'm not hundred percent sure. So we can actually put them into our second carnivorous carnivorous containment right over here. Let's do a very quick look at our second containment. So we have Baryonyx, the Dilophosaurus, we have two Silophysis, and we have plenty of Raptors right over there. All right, let's form more hybrids. We have the body of the Triceratops right over here. And let's see, what are the options for us to form a hybrid? We have a Dilophosaurus head, a Sticky Molox head, T-Rex head, Indominus Rex head, and two raptors head. Let's try something nicer. I think let's try this because I feel that the colors really match really well. Wow, this looks legit. It looks like a legit Lego figure. It looks so cute. Tyrannoceratops, Tyrannoceratops. I think we can just call this Tyrannoceratops, which is similar to the other one. But that is like more Triceratops dominant because the head is actually the head of a Triceratops and this one is more T-Rex dominant, all right? So we can call this Tri-Rex. Instead of T-Rex, let's call this Tri-Rex. How about that? I, th I think that sounds pretty cool, Tri-Rex. All right, let's put a Tri-Rex into our second containment um, of hybrids, all right? Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, we have plenty of T-Rex. We have plenty of T-Rex on the floor right now, waiting for us to place them into the zoo. I mean, check this out, okay? So let's create a new um, containment for the T-Rex. I think we need to create another one right over here. But we don't have enough fences. And don't really... Oh, we do have one more. A small one right over here. We can probably create like a small little enclosure over here for the T-Rex. Okay, so let me just pick this up. We have one of the latest T-Rex from LEGO Jurassic World. I really love the patterns and the stripes across the body. So this can be placed right over here. Okay, next. Let's put in, oh, Carnotaurus. Where can we put this Carnotaurus? Do you think the Carnotaurus can coexist with the T-Rex? I don't think so, I don't think so. So let's put it. Carnotaurus here, temporarily, okay, just for now. The T-Rex can definitely, um, you know, coexist with each other. I mean, sometimes they may fight, who knows? I mean, if you have watched Camp Cretaceous Season 4, you can actually see that the two T-Rex, they were very lovely towards each other. All right, let's see what else we've got on the table. The head of a Dilophosaurus. Okay, I think this body actually belongs to the um, um, Sticky Moloch. So we're gonna try something really weird, okay? Let's put... Okay, let's try this. Indie Moloch. Let's call this Indie Moloch. I think that sounds pretty cute. cute. Okay, big head. Indie Moloch will definitely be placed in the second containment. So let's see whether it fits. But it can stand. Oh my goodness, it doesn't stand. This hybrid is actually a fail because the, the hybrid, this hybrid can't even stand well. Okay, if you guys can see, there is another body right over here. I think that body, the body actually belongs to a um, um, galley mimers, if I'm not wrong. I think so. Okay, so let's just do something. This time it's gonna be simple. Okay, it's a simple shade over. So let's just pop this right in. Okay, so this is actually gal part Gallimimus, part the Lavasaurus. Dilo, Dilo Mimus. Sounds cool. Dilo Mimus sounds pretty good. Okay, let's put a Dilo Mimus. You know, under the tree, we have this beautiful tree sitting right over here and a huge bellbot tree right at the back, okay? So we're just left with a couple of um, um, heads. We do have 
a baryonyx body so let's pick one of these heads up how about let's create like a pot sticky moloch and pot baryonyx i think that that is pretty cute so let's pop the sticky moloch's head onto the baryonyx body wow it looks pretty cool sticky yonyx or berry moloch berry moloch sounds good okay so berry moloch we have to expand the enclosure a little bit more because we're running out of space for this hybrid i think i like this hybrid the most it looks so cute and adorable okay let's see what else we got we have two more baby herbivorous dinosaurs okay we have bumpy okay and we have a baby triceratops this will go into that herbivorous enclosure right at the back so let's go let's go all right i'll put this right in let's do a zoom in so you can see we have one ankylosaurus a baby triceratops a sticky monolock and a baby ankylosaurus so let's put this triceratops in so we have two baby triceratops i think we should put these two together so that they can play along with each other all right pretty cool enclosure let's see what else we've got i have two pteranodons guys two pteranodons Okay, the pteranodons they definitely need like a um you know huge space to um fly around so i think what we can do is that let's place these two pteranodons okay i think we need to fix this the jaw on top of the tree and let's just imagine that this entire you know eco space this ecosystem it has some you know fencing around this whole area so that these two pteranodons aren't able to you know fly out so let's just put them over there let's take a look let's do a close-up shot of this well you can see they are living happily on top of the trees so basically this whole enclosure it's covered by glass okay really really tough glass to prevent them from escaping Okay, what else we've got? I think we have a couple of um, mini figures. These two, I'm not too sure what to call them actually. These two are like alien dinosaurs. So we can probably put them in the hybrid section. But should we put them in containment one or containment two? Let's see. I think I'll go with the containment one because there are lesser dinosaurs inside. Okay. Put them in. Wow, it, it looks pretty it looks pretty cool, I must say. Our whole zoo right here. Okay. Um three more. Three more mini figures. Okay. This is like a mini silophrysis. This we will definitely put it right over here together with the other two silophrises and this baby Prompy baby and Colosaurus will go into the herbivorous containment so let me just take my camera out let's go over there let's put it right here nice okay and we have a baby T-Rex the baby T-Rex will definitely be placed along with the other T-Rexes. Okay, looks cool. I think we still need to fix up some hybrids. Okay, maybe not. Let's just keep this as one of the raptors. Let's not make a hybrid out of this so that we have more raptors in our enclosure. Let's put one more into our raptor containment. Nice. Do we? I have another head right here. That's weird. Oh, yes. So this is the body. Okay. All right. Let's pop this right in. We have Blue's head onto the Indominus Rex body. 
one of the weirdest. This has definitely got to be one of the weirdest looking dinosaur. Okay, so what do you call this? Raptor Dominus. Raptor Rex, I'm not too sure. Okay, so basically I have used up all our Lego figures. So let's do a tour, shall we? Okay, let's do a tour. So just imagine, once you've entered this zoo, you'll be able to see this, I mean, this Carnotaurus is, it's out in the free. Um, I'm gonna put it together with the other kind of um, carnivores. And um, this one, I'll just, let's just take it as all these are being, um, you know, fenced up really nicely. So this is like the pathway to enter the zoo. So immediately you'll be able to see this really beautiful um, Jurassic World gate right in the middle. And once you walked in, oh, we, let's put some humans. Yes, let's put some humans in. Let's put Darius. Let's put Darius into um, this zoo right here. So once Darius, who else do we have? Um, okay, we have Macy. Darius and Macy together, they have, be they have become good friends. So once Darius and Macy enters the Dinosaur Zoo, they will be able to see the really beautiful Jurassic World um, entrance. And of course, they are greeted by this really beautiful and huge Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil, which looks so, so, so amazing. So Darius will actually visit the hybrid containment first because, you know, hybrids are really cool. So he sees like a um, sticky Yonix. He sees like a Tyrannoceratops. He sees an Ankylo Ranadon Rex. He sees an Indominus Taurus. I'm just making up these names as I go along. And um, we have a, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Indominus, I'm not too sure. Another hybrid over here. Yeah, basically really cool hybrids. Then he proceeds to take a look at um, the carnivorous, the real carnivorous section together with Macy. So he sees Carnotaurus, he sees Baryonyx, Dilophosaurus, Silophysis. Yeah, really cool um, carnivorous. And his favorite, the T-Rex. I'm not too sure whether it's his favorite dinosaur. I'm just making a, I'm just making this up. So we see like a herd of T-Rex. Okay. And after that, he visits together with Macy the Raptor Containment, where they see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different raptors. After that, they proceed to the herbivore section where they see plenty of lovely herbivores where they can pet some of them, like the baby Ankylosaurus, baby Triceratops, Sticky Moloch. Yeah, it's really, really cool. After that, the last section that they are going to will be the containment for another group of hybrids, which is what is this? Ankylosaurus Rex and Triceratosaurus Rex and Carnoyonix. And what do we have? Like two alien dinosaurs. We have this um, Veloc Velomimers right over here, Velomimers, and this it's a um, Indoraptor, yeah, you know, sort of like an Indoraptor. Yeah, so that's all. That's this is our whole. I, I think it's pretty good. Our whole Lego Jurassic World hybrid dinosaur zoo. Do you guys like this kind of videos? Please let me know. Thanks for watching this. Yeah, let me know whether we should be doing more Lego videos. And um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video on Saturday. There will be a couple of our new figures that we will be unboxing. One of them will be this battle damage Velociraptor that I have just purchased. Yes, I think this is like one of the very rare raptors. We don't have this. So finally we got this, which is so cool. Okay, uh, we have a basic figure to open up. You're gonna open more um, Dino Strike eggs right over here. There will be, you know, these are other Dino Strike figures that we have collected. We are still lacking the Pterosaur and also the T-Rex. Hopefully we can get them. Okay, there'll be a couple of um, figures to open up as well. So thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys on Saturday for the next video, okay? Thanks and goodbye.
put this right over here. So basically what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna clean this table up. I'm gonna take like a few shots for the thumbnail. And then I'm gonna be putting all these Lego figures back into the original um, area, which is in another room in my shelf. Okay, thanks for watching this. Goodbye.